Thanks, Rush. Appreciate you. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And uh, Rob Haydack, we'll keep it with you. Just, uh, you know, big year, 2023, going out on a massive card. You guys got the grappling and the Muay Thai happening, too. So I guess 2024, what do we have in store? What can you say about uh, Cage Fury? What, what, what kind of goals do you guys have? Uh, a lot more of the same. Uh, we're in contract renegotiations now, so you'll see at least another 12 MMA events for next year. We are adding a new market. We will be out in Las Vegas for some events, both MMA and Muay Thai. We will launch Muay Thai this year in Philadelphia on January 27th. In addition to that, we're going to increase the number of uh, grappling matches uh, with Fury Pro Grappling. In addition to that, we're also now into college wrestling. Um, so expect a lot of events in 2024 with that as well. So it's going to be definitely going to be a very busy year. Awesome. Can't wait. Looking forward to uh, all the excitement. And this next one is for Frank Wells. Frank, we're supposed to have an interview like before this started, but we did this instead. So one <laughs> question for you I'm wondering about is, you know, win here is two in a row. You carry a lot of hype, but you're a big name in Cage Fury. So what are your goals for 2024, keeping the theme the same? Like, wh where's that title picture lie? Um, I mean, I just got to stay busy. Uh, obviously, after the fight last year, I had to take a little bit of time off. And then I was preparing for a fight. I broke my hand. I had a kid. So I had a lot of stuff like going on earlier in the year. Um, and then I was able to, to return finally in September. So ideally, I don't like nine months in between fights. I, I like to fight three, four times a year if possible. Um, I kept that that uh, pace pretty much my whole career up until uh, COVID happened. So I would really like to get back on that pace. Just keep winning fights and wherever that puts me. You know, every uh, every single guy that I've fought, I've hurt, I've done damage to, I've had exciting fights with. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Um you know, and, and looking for those finishes. I had to kind of rewire uh, my approach after the end of last year to to stop trying to like out skill and out technique guys and actually start hurting them and try to get them out there, uh, out of there. So that's what we're looking to do. Just hurt dudes. And uh, whatever comes out of that is uh, what we'll take. Awesome, man. Appreciate you. And then last one is for uh, Sean Felton. Sean, likewise, we were supposed to have an interview and I did get to interview your opponent, Rob Vericchio. So I asked Rob, hey, what are your thoughts on Sean Felton? I'm going to be interviewing him. Anything you'd like to say? Rob, very humble. You know, he said nothing but respect. Said he usually doesn't like to focus on his opponents. He focuses on himself. So I'm going to ask you the same question. What are your thoughts on Rob? And he's right here in front of you. First impressions, anything to say? Uh, Respect to him as well. I'm, a I'm in the same boat. I've been trying really focusing on myself this camp. Just trying to get better everywhere so we can take this fight wherever we need to take it to get the win on December 15th. Um, definitely did study him a lot though. Still studying him as his game, but really just focusing on myself and just trying to be the vet best version of myself in 10 days. And I definitely think you're going to see that and it's going to come with a victory. Best of luck, gentlemen. Thank you. Appreciate you.